Fruit, triumph of the angiosperms. Flowers, the evolutionary newcomer in the plant kingdom, begin to change after the ovules in the ovary are fertilized. Almost as soon as pollen tubes grow down the style towards the ovary, the stigma of the flower begins to synthesize the hormone ethylene, which triggers aging of flower parts, not essential in seed and fruit formation. In many flowers, it is the ovary wall that grow rapidly to surround and protect the growing seeds, embryos for the next generation. In other flowers, it is mostly the receptacle that grows to surround the seeds. Other flowers provide no fleshy part around the seeds. Ovary walls that develop into walls of the fruit include three layers collectively called the pericarp. The skin of the fruit is the exocarp, the fleshy middle is the mesocarp, and the inner layer with the seeds is the endocarp. Botanists classify fruit according to 1. Whether they are fleshy or dry, and 2. How they develop from flower parts. The layers of the pericarp in dry fruit are often fused into one layer. Fleshy fruits can be simple or complex. Simple fleshy fruits develop from one or more carpels, which are united, while complex fleshy fruit developed from separate carpels. Simple fruits. Droop fruits are fleshy with a hard pit. These fruits have one or more carpels with a single seed in each carpel. Berry fruits are fleshy and have one or more carpels with many seeds in each carpel. And poma fruits can develop from the ovaries, but mostly from the receptacles. Carpal walls become hard cores. Complex fruit is fleshy fruit, developed from multiple carpels. Aggregate fruits developed from one flower with multiple carpels. Multiple fruits developed from the fusion of tightly packed flowers that have ovaries that fuse as the fruit develops. Other fruit are dry where the pericarp is fused into one layer. Dehiscent fruit split along seams and release seeds when they mature. Indehiscent fruit remains around the seeds when they mature. Pericarp stays hard and thin. So even though we have common names for some of the fruits in this learning activity, such as calling squash, tomatoes, beans, and pea pods vegetables, while calling acorns and pecans nuts, they are all anatomically fruit of the plant. Enjoy and eat a variety of fruits. They're good for you.